If you could cruise anywhere with a sky's the limit budget, where would you sail and on which ship? The means of luxurious lifestyle experiences around us are immense in number. While the search for a one-of-a-kind experience on the land ends with a long list of options to live in the moment, the experiential purchases at sea are limited in contrast to its enormity. However, at sea, the experiences the luxurious cruise ships and yachts can offer transcend the outnumbered choices on land. As being affordable to a large number of customers compared to yachts, cruise ships play a significant role in meeting the demands of the multi-billion dollar ocean tourism industry. Now, let's look at the world's most expensive cruises. Number 1. Allure of the Seas $1.4 billion The Allure of the Seas is one of the two most expensive cruise ships in operation around the world. The second ship in the Royal Caribbean International's Oasis-class cruise ship, Allure of the Seas, was the world's largest passenger ship when it launched in November 2009. Reportedly, around $1.4 billion was incurred in the construction of this world-class cruise ship at the SDX Europe Turku shipyard in Finland. This 1,187 feet long vessel measures 215 feet in width with a gross registered tonnage of 225,282. With 18 total decks, the ship can accommodate a total of 6,780 guests and 2,200 crew members. The main features of the ship include a two-deck dance hall, an ice skating rink, 25 dining options and a theatre with 1,380 seating capacity. The first in Oasis-class luxury ships, Oasis of the Seas is another $1.4 billion cruise ship in the Royal Caribbean International's fleet. This 225,282-ton vessel was the world's largest cruise ship when it launched in 2008. While all other features of the Oasis of the Seas match with its sister vessel, the length of the vessel is reportedly 50 millimeters shorter than the Allure of the Seas. However, it has been stated that the classified length of these vessels was the same and the changes were unintentional as it happened due to the small changes in the temperature of the steel used for construction. Number 2. Symphony of the Seas $1.35 billion Royal Caribbean International's Oasis-class cruise ship, Symphony of the Seas, is the world's largest passenger ship currently in service. Thus, for obvious reasons, Symphony of the Seas is one of the most expensive cruise ships in the world now, with a cost of production of $1.35 billion. Built by SDX France, the vessel measures 1,188 feet in length, 215.5 feet in width and 238 feet in height, with a gross registered tonnage of 228,081. The ship that started its maiden voyage in April 2018 features 18 decks and can accommodate a maximum of 6,680 passengers and a 2,200-person crew. The features aboard this luxury cruise ship include 22 restaurants, 24 pools, a children's water park, ice skating rink, a full-size basketball court, and two 43-foot rock climbing walls. Number 3. Norwegian Epic – $1.2 billion As the very first Norwegian ship to debut, The Haven, in 2010, Norwegian Epic is once again making waves in redefining this luxurious enclave. In November 2020, The Haven on Norwegian Epic underwent extensive renovations. From reimagined suites to redesigned experiences, including the Haven Restaurant and the Haven Courtyard Pool and Sun Deck, guests can now soak in true luxury at sea. When it comes to the award-winning entertainment on board Norwegian Epic, 
you won't believe your eyes or even your ears. Visitors can experience the legendary Liverpool venue where the Beatles performed, called the Cavern Club, or laugh along with acclaimed Broadway show Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. The ship has one of the largest aqua park and cabins for single passengers. When built, it was the third largest cruise ship in the world to carry 4,228 passengers. With 155,873 gross tonnage, it measures 329.45 meters in length and 52 centimeters in width. Number 4. Norwegian Bliss – $1 billion Norwegian's cruise line's brand-new behemoth luxury ship Norwegian Bliss that set sail in 2020 also joins the list with about $1 billion in cost of production. Built by Mayer Werft, the 168,028-ton Norwegian Bliss has a length of 1,094 feet, molded beam of 136.2 feet, and a maximum draft of 29.53 feet. With 20 decks, the vessel features 2,220 cabins that can accommodate 4,000 passengers in addition to 1,700 crew members. Offering a great vacation experience to its guests, Norwegian Bliss features elegant suites, several themed dining areas, bars, a 20,000 square feet observation lounge, an 800 seat Bliss theater, and a two story go kart track. Number 5. Queen Mary 2 – million Many cruise lines offer world cruises, but none rival the regal experience offered on board Cunard's flagship 2,691 passenger Queen Mary 2, especially when booked in one of five Queen's Grill Grand Duplexes. If you're spending 100 days or more on board, why not wallow in luxury? Measuring about 2,249 square feet, Grand Duplexes double as Downtown Abbey-style jaw-droppers. Amenities include a downstairs, tricked out with eight dining tables, fitness equipment, and an office featuring personalized stationery. Visitors can climb the spiral staircase to discover a king-sized bedroom with a pillow menu, twin marble baths, and two dressing rooms. And did we mention the spacious private veranda? On call, superb butler fulfills every need, possibly before you realize you have one. Yes, you'll see the world, including many UNESCO World Heritage Sites and other places most of us just dream about. Sea days are filled with impassioned lectures, planetarium shows, and a wide array of entertainment from comedians to classical pianists. There's always the fitness center beckoning after splendid teas and fine dining in the Queen's Grill. Number 6. Seven Seas Explorer – $450 million Regent Seven Seas Explorer has been the subject of not just one but two TV documentary series starring in Building the World's Most Luxurious Cruise Ship and Secrets of the World's Most Expensive Cruise Ships. The 750-guest Seven Seas Explorer, which launched in 2015, and sister ship Seven Seas Splendor, which followed in 2020, both offer the perfect balance of space and intimacy. Guests can spend much of the cruise simply studying the $7 million 2005-piece art collection, including original Picassos and a $500,000 Tibetan prayer wheel. But then they'd miss the wealth of art and culture available in ports of call throughout Europe. All accommodations embrace luxury, but guests deserve the 3,026-square-foot Regent Suite, with a whopping 1,417 square feet more balcony space. One of a kind, this beyond fabulous accommodation features two bedrooms. The massive master features a severe horsehair mattress, two private balconies with custom heated hot tub, 
two and a half marble and stone swathed baths and private solarium. The Regent Suite also provides two safes, no doubt for all your jewels, and three walk-in closets for the trunks of fabulous clothes guests bring. Perhaps cruisers can even hire a pianist to perform in your suite. These digs come outfitted with a custom Stainway piano. Ultimately, guests can wrap themselves in cozy cashmere blankets, refresh with Guerlain or Bottega Veneta toiletries, and ring the butler to satisfy your every whim. All suites open onto a private balcony, a concept that Regent pioneered with the Seven Seas Mariner in 2001, the world's first all-balcony ship. There are plenty of dining choices, with specialty restaurants offering superb food in stylish surroundings. And the all-inclusive fares are the most inclusive of all luxury lines, with even your shore excursions included in the price. Number 7. Europa 2 $360 million the launch of the 500 guest Europa 2 in 2013 was eagerly anticipated by those in the know as it marked German cruise line Hapag Lloyd's entry into the international market. At the time of launch, the original 400 guest Europa had the highest rating of any ship in the noted Berlitz Guide, so the bar was high. But for once, the sequel was even better than the original. Europa 2 brings a fresh and contemporary look to cruising, with light-filled public spaces, elegant suites, all with balcony and an inviting combination of blonde woods and muted earthly tones, the definition of Scandi chic. It's no surprise that Europa 2 has now usurped her predecessor, acclaimed by the Berlitz Guide as the best cruise ship in the world. If you're still with us up to this moment, kindly take a few seconds of your time and click on the subscribe icon below if you haven't yet done so. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. Number 8. Seaborne Ovation $350 million Seaborne currently operates the most modern fleet of all the classic ultra-luxury cruise lines, and we particularly love their two newest ships, Seaborne Encore and Seaborne Ovation. Building on the successful Seaborne style and sophistication that makes their three Odyssey-class ships so popular, these slightly larger vessels have interiors by designer Adam T. Tahani and a specialty restaurant in collaboration with Michelin star chef Thomas Keller, which has since been rolled out across the fleet. On the top deck, you'll find The Retreat, where 15 private cabanas each with flat-screen TVs and a refrigerator stocked with a personalized section of beverages surround a central whirlpool. Number 9. Scenic Eclipse – $230 million When Scenic revealed the specifications of Scenic Eclipse, their first discovery yacht, they ruffled a few cruise industry feathers. Many wondered how a ship of just 200 guests could offer so many dining choices, along with a spa, lounge, theater, plus a submarine and two helicopters. When she finally launched in 2019, many were thrilled to see Scenic Eclipse deliver on all this and more. With all balcony accommodation and a sleek and stylish interior, that makes this ice-class expedition vessel just as suited to the yachting ports of the Mediterranean as the ice-filled bays of Antarctica. Number 10. Silver Origin – $100 million To cruise in the Galapagos, ships quite rightly have to abide by the stringent policies set by the Ecuadorian government to preserve this incredible habitat. Guest numbers are capped at 100 and ships are restricted to operating solely around the Galapagos. 
Until recently, you had to choose from a selection of older vessels and ships that have been converted to operate here. Then came the introduction of Silver Origin, Silver Sea's stunning new ship purpose-built for this unique environment. This intimate 100-guest ship is supremely comfortable, with all balcony accommodation, plenty of deck space, two restaurants and an outdoor whirlpool, with a well-stocked library and a fitness center with panoramic views. As well as the extensive shore program and onboard lectures, there's the chance to learn more about the Archilopagos flora and fauna at the base camp, with its impressive interactive wall. In the evening, guests can enjoy socializing over cocktails at the Explorer Lounge and cozy up around the outdoor fire pit after dinner. That's all on our video about the world's most expensive cruises. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.